thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, the question of Libby and Lynn was, and in my experience, making an impossible relationship better. I have a very striking experience in my career as a peace worker. Um, my experience bringing uh, entrenched communities together, I have discovered from experience that when there is humiliation, when there is humiliation between diversities, there is tension. And when there is tension, there is fear. And when there is this fear, there is on the ground the ignorance of the other. And that's it. Global citizens are called to step forward when others are afraid to take the first step. The global citizens who has the big heart to accommodate inclusively all to bring down this tension by using a constructive approach. That is when it's called, and that's what I have experienced. In the, uh, in the account, in 2013, I experienced between, uh, in West, Western region of Cote d'Ivoire, uh, a situation between the Dozo group community and the way. This is an impossible relationship because of the hate that was deepening because the, uh, the indigenous, the Gary people, felt they are pre-embedded and pre-colonized by this um, uh, uh, those group of people that are immigrants from different neighboring co uh, 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 countries like Burkina, Mali, Senegal, and Northern Ivory Coast. So during the problem of the post-electoral war, electoral slaughter of 2010-2011, it was manipulated. This division and fear was manipulated by the politicians, whereby the Dozo people participated to the slaughter of the indigenous, the Gary, that accepted them in their community. This fear brought separation between this group the mass slaughter was so intense that no, unit, no, no, no organization at that point was eager, ready to go to listen to the both different communities, to seek for ways to, to deflect the tension from listening consciously the other's narrative to discover what is the underground reason why the other hate the other? In that time, a lot of dead bodies reported from the Gary people. So you can imagine at that period, the kind of fear. But what happened from my experience when I was about to go to this journey? As a global citizen, many people came to me and said, James, we know how you love your work of peace building. Don't go to that region. That region is scary. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go. Don't try it. I told them, I am called to do what I am doing. My life is not as important to the mission. The mission is more important than my life. I said, if divinely I will instead go there, which means God, who has called me the mission, has prepared the heart of the two communities to receive and to hear me. I am the person that will bring the unity among these three communities. I convinced my group, I'm build up their faith and their courage. Then we step 
the first mission to undergo a program what we which are called uh, uh, social psychological support, whereby we bring the wounded community of the Gere people to listen to them deeply, to share their pains, their anguish, their lost ones, their wounds, their humiliation. When we share these situations, sharing their humanity with them, I listen to took me to women about 150 people were buried alive by the dozen people after humanizing them by listening to them they feel encouraged they feel respected they feel humanized what they told me the chiefs the traditional rulers of these great people told me that the government have not come to hear from us as you have come they said, nobody has come to hear from us, to know what we are suffering, what we are facing. But he told me, Mr. James, they said, if Percy, when you go back to Abidjan, go and tell the president that this is our situation. The whole community saw that my coming was an entry for a change of that community. Even though I don't have a personal relationship with the president, the recent president, President Alassane Ouattara. Even I don't have relationship with him, but they believe that as a, as a public opinion leader, as a social activist who has come compassionately to hear from them, I can transfer their message to the authority, oh, which so. I don't know how I would have received. So Thank it, you. Is, it, is, it, is, it is a very, it is a very, a very, a very wonderful experience. And, Thank you, um, Your your story is uh, is really it's uh, such an inspiring story, and I want to uh, encourage everyone who may not have seen the uh, the talk that you gave to us a couple months ago that that is on the um, that is on the Al blog where you know where where we've recorded uh, uh, a much uh, a much more extensive version of the story. So um, thank you so much. We're really honored. Uh, I'd like to add. Among us. I'd like to add that um, to to really see the beauty of the dramatic outcome of his work with Dozo Sungiri, simply Google uh, his name, Ofu James Ofu, O F F U H James Ofu, and it is documented so beautifully on the web in video and in in still snaps and in text. It's a very inspiring story.